So today I'm going to talk about, well, there's this person who everyone seems to know and is a self-proclaimed quote-unquote media analyst, which he hasn't actually done any media analyzing because he's, he's more likely a troll and is the author of a boring, stupid book that nobody will buy called Hollywood Propaganda, and he's not even that famous either. Yeah, his name, his, his name is Mark Dice. I'm sure you know him in years past, including when he makes these god-awful political videos since Trump was elected president at the time. Well, he came out with a stupid tweet at Hasbro on February 25th, which they announced that your inane spot, Mr. Potato Head, isn't going anywhere. Well, it was announced today that the Mr. that the Potato Head brand name and logo are dropping the Mr. I am proud to confirm that Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head aren't going anywhere and will be made Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. As you can see, the branding is changed, but the same icons never change. They stay the same. And what did Mark Dice tweet? Well, I'll read it to you from here. He tweeted, Mr. Potato Head is a racist caricature of an African American. Why is such a hateful product even sold today? First of all, Mark Dice, Mr. Potato Head is not racist. Mr. Potato Head is a potato. That's his race. Mr. T potato Head is not even a hateful product. Where in online do, do you see that it's a hateful product? You must be eating C Cocoa Pops for breakfast, Mr. Dice, because you, your brain is not functioning very well, and you're getting very old soon. Like, come on, you're like in your 40s, and you talk like a 15-year-old. Poverty is an extra fourteen hundred dollars to these poor families that can't make ends meet. That's amazing. Thank you, Joe. Others, however, are not so thrilled. Here's Elon Omar talking with Brian Stelter in drag. When you look at this and this uh, specifically this uh, agreement, when it comes to reducing the cap on the relief checks, do you see this as Joe Biden abandoning progressives? The country has gone to hell in a handbasket, and now we're seeing an array of absolutely insane laws, like this one in California, which would make it illegal for stores to have separate aisles for boys' toys and girls' toys, because, well, gender's just a social construct, right? <laughs> well, then why aren't all sports co-ed? <laughs> Don't give them any ideas, you say, right? I know, I know. I'm not giving them ideas. I just predict these things. I know how they're thinking. If you've seen my old man on the street videos, I was I had my finger on the pulse of society and I tried to stop it. But now it's here. It's not good enough for celebrities to dress their children in princess dresses if they're boys or make their daughters play with trucks. Now they have to make it illegal if the stores label toys for boys or for girls. And then the next step will be for the manufacturers as well. They won't be able See what I mean? He doesn't have a cohesive mind, and he talks like a 15-year-old in a 40-year-old man's body. Plus, if you look right here, he has no lip. I mean, seriously, his mouth looks like looks looks like a baby, like he has. A baby mouth. See? This is why he talks like that. 
Now, as we check the comments here, people have tweeted at Mark Dice. That's your best shot at a sarcastic joke. I'm not offended by its politics, but but by its total lack of funniness. Do the work. Yeah, Mark Dice, you're not a comedian. Do the work. Dumbass, I had Mr. Potato Head when I was a kid. Not once was uh, was the turn racism used in our home regarding Mr. Potato Head. Oh, and I'm from the South. I would suggest that if you see a cartoon and think it looks like a blank guy that when no one else does, then you are the one who is obsessed with racial stereotypes. Yeah, Mark Dice, you are obsessed with racial stereotypes. Thank you, Dave Spartacus, for for telling Mark Dice that he is incoherently dumb. Like, come on. I su I suspect you are trying to to engineer a reaction from the anti woke reggae. Since when does a character of an African American involve a bowler slash derby hat, a, la a large mustache, and a bright nose? And Mark Dice clearly never answered because he again is dumb. Mark Dice Clay attempting humor again, folks. Yeah. He's extremely unfunny. I agree. I believe this to be a troll. He's been a troll for years. That's why he's not really well known in the in the YouTube sphere these days. Is this shitty comedy? Yes, from Mark Dice. Because he does not know how to make comedic jokes. Yeah, um, I'm black, and, um, never thought for a moment Mr. or Mrs. Potato Head was a slap against our race. You trying a bit too hard there, Kevin. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ouch. Imagine being called Kevin, Mark Dice. You are Kevin. Wow. All right, Ben Shapiro. Yeah, exactly. He acts like Ben Shapiro. Even worse. You don't actually believe this, so this is a real, a really, really transparent attempt at being a grifter. People will love it since they are balls deep in the culture war and think it matters. But if you're going to post stuff you don't believe on Twitter, at least make it fun. Pets. You're just mad that you actually... Seated in sobbing this syntax conspiracy to send out Google Glasses. Congrats on that, by the way. It really hurts our goals. I love how everyone is taking this seriously. Blocking cancel culture only gets people slamming you down. Doesn't that prove the point? It's a fucking potato, Jesus Christ. When I was a kid, we had an actual potato and stuck potato sticks into it for arms and legs. Fucking raises my arse. You're joking, right? He's terrible at jokes. He might have been joking, but he is terrible at jokes. So I would just assume that he thinks that Mr. Potato Head is racist, which he's not. Anthony says, what's next? You're going to attack Disney? You're going to tell them that they're racist for having Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head in their movie? Guess what, bro? Little kids don't care. The problem is people drink too much special Kool-Aid. And they all went woke and crazy because nobody had a problem in this the potato head. Neither did African Americans or anybody in general. Bob Patterson says, what? Potatoes have no race. It's a... Wait for it. Potato! Bringing race into this discourse is about as irrelevant as accusing water of being wet. Sir, 
I O N think anybody revert to this toy as racist is literally a potato pet. Patty boy. Please someone pay attention to me. I'm right here. Mark Dice, human mannequin. Yes, he is a human mannequin. For someone who writes about books who writes books about propaganda, you sure have no problem spewing it. Yeah, exactly. Bra, there is only two genders. It can dress as and y'all didn't want this to go anywhere. Obviously you haven't seen a potato lately. Same color. You must must you brain race into it? Yes, because Mark Dice is racist. I think you're the racist one if you're comparing an African American to potato. Just saying. Exactly. There is always one that has to play the race card. Grow up, it's just a potato. Anyone who is offended over Mr. and Mrs. needs serious help. Yes, Mark Dice needs serious help. He really does. And Mark Dice needs to grow the fuck up and and realize that he's a 40-year-old man whining about a potato. At this point, Mark, here's what I'll say to you. How about if you wake the fuck up and stop trying to, you know, be very, very dumb. Because at the end of the day, it's just a branding change. And furthermore, there is no evidence that you can prove that Mr. Potato Head is racist. Because there is none. There is no proof about it. I suggest you stick to this, to, you know, interviewing people like you, you normally used to do, you dumbass.